What's everyone? What's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Welcome to the Gull's Nest. Uh, it's been a week since we've seen you guys, and we have a lot to cover, the All-Star Game and everything of that nature. Of course, my trusty sidekick, Adam the Mallet, to the left of me. Hello, everybody. There he is right there. Hello, Adam. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hold on. I'm, uh, oh, hello. This is, wait, this is very weird here. Hold on. I'm getting... There we go. Okay. It was weird. So I was getting you kind of like in my head. Can you hear me now? I hear you perfectly. Okay, cool. I was getting like feedback. I was I was hearing your voice and hearing you again. It was this was freaking me Whoa, out. Oh, that's like nightmare inducing right there. It's like the ghosts are coming to get me, you know? Hey, dude. But uh it's been a week and we're almost done with the season. Do you guys believe that? It's nuts. The last game of the season, I believe, is the last actual physical game is today. Is that, well, as we're recording this, the 29th. Well, it's, it's now, delayed, so it's tomorrow, actually. So it'll be tomorrow. So tomorrow will be the last yeah. game of the season, and the playoffs start on Thursday. And both goals will play hanging in. They're three and a half up, uh, 26 and 16. Interesting, though, the North Division of Vermont Mountaineers, 30 and 9. Woo! 30 and 9, huh? That's, imp- that's pretty impressive, huh? Yeah. So it's safe to say that the Newport Gulls have won the division this year. Yeah. With a three and a half game lead and one game to play, they, they have clinched. So yeah. they clinched the division. So we're going to Playoffs talk about begin the- August 1st. August 1st, Thursday. Yeah. So that would be uh, something to consider. Um, maybe we have to go. We have to go down for a playoff game, at least a playoff game, right? We do. We really do. We have to at this point. Maybe. Uh, Maybe this will all work out very nice for, for us. We can get to one playoff game because th- it's two weeks of playoffs. We can get to at least one of them. I, I see there's no problem with us getting to at least one of them. So that's going to be on our agenda. And uh, we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it. We're going to make magic happen. We're going to go see the girls in the playoffs live. I'm going to be rooting them on. I'm going to be wearing my uh, flesh colored bodysuit for the girls. Oh, oh, and God, we're going to no. get this going. So I hope everyone can get excited. I'm just going to wear a hat. That's it. Just a hat. See how it goes. See if we can't get kicked out of one of the fields. You know? <laughs> but we will go back. So the All-Star game was last Monday. Um, so I don't know how they split the teams up. Do you do you get any information on if it's just, just like a... Because there's three divisions, uh, right? So Yeah, I, I, I don't know. When, it was really, Monday? Yeah, it was last Monday. Last Monday, the 22nd? But they played... Yeah. Oh, wait. No, oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Last Sunday, the 21st. I'm looking at June. I'm an idiot. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, so the 21st, they had the All-Star game. Um, so, you know what? I'll tell you what. We're going to save the All-Star game talk for after the season's over because we'll get more information on that. It will be a little like uh, when we do the end of season recap, we'll do mm. that. And then the, the, the episode after that, we'll do we'll go we'll dive into the All Star game because I'm sure there's a lot of information to talk to about during the All about the All Star game and what, what went on. Not that we could do justice on this half hour show. Maybe we dedicated an entire show just to the All Star game. So maybe, and that way we can look at the players that we've been talking about all season long and kind of put them together and you know compare and contrast how well they did against of uh, their pairs. So I like that. I like that. Good call. We should do that. So we'll put that on the burner for you. But till then. We will speak about, um, we'll start the Wednesday the 24th game. Want to do that? Sounds good to me, my friend. All right. So Wednesday the 24th against Vineyard. They, um, looks like they won six to two. Do you want to Mm -hmm. dive into some of this, uh, pitching? I will. In Coleman had a very good outing. Five innings, two earned runs, four strikeouts, zero walks. He did it. He did allow nine hits, but he seemed to work out of those jams. And then uh, the Dorito comes in for two innings, no runs, two Look strikeouts. Chip. Having the a shit together in that game. Look at that. That's right. The chip, right? Has the a chip was outing. crunchy. Yes, it was, it cr- was today. It was not stale at all. It was not a stale chip. It was a crunchy chip. Yes. And that's what yes, we like that. to see. Then and Adam even Walker. Look at- yeah. Walker. Two innings pitched. And uh, again, great, very, great outing here. Two innings pitched, one walk, no runs. And look at that. The Texas, Perfect. the chip. So we get the cooler, the chip, and the Texas Ranger, the, the trifactor, if you will, of pitching, all having outstanding games. 
and uh, lower in the ERA, even much slower, lower than it was as it was in the beginning of the season. So that's pretty good. Who is the Dorito doing? He's, uh, the Dorito. We'll, we'll talk more about him later. I was looking. We'll get into the Dorito. Outings. Yeah. So yeah. offensively versus the uh, Vineyard Shocks, which seems to be a team they play very often during the season, since it is in the division and it's very close by. Um, offensively for this game. They put up uh, 10 hits and had six runs, no errors, which is very good considering um, their errors have been an issue. But mm-hmm. uh, they seem to tighten it up in this game after this first game game, first game back after the all star break. And for notable people, uh, we had Rini uh, uh, start, uh, leading off for a batch, two hits, three RBIs, a walk and a strikeout. Yeah. Stevens had a little bit of a slow game here. Four at bats with only one hit and a walk, two strikeouts. Not his best game, but uh, not terrible at the end of the, at the end of the day. We're no. still a three three three, um, batting average after the game. Is D Williams the deuce? A run, a hit, a walk, no strikeouts. Pretty damn good for me. I like that right there. The tortoise, five at bats. This guy, this guy stayed in the entire game. A run, a hit. Uh, in a strikeout and going through the line, pretty much everyone pretty much was having a pretty decent game. But Williams is still going strong. I mean, with that 402 batting average at the end of this game, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. The bats are swinging, they're doing really well, which is good. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, no errors, which helped him a lot. You yeah, know, with 10 hits, scoring six runs isn't terrible, which is pretty good. So, not leaving a lot of guys on base. And, uh, you know, the pitching obviously came around and did what they needed to do. I mean, the only runs they let up uh, basically were there's one in the first and the fourth, and then that was it. They pretty much settled down after the fact. So good for them on that game. It was a hell of a performance by the, the Newport Gels. I feel like we're definitely seeing a lot of consistency with some of these players for sure. And it's almost to the point where it's getting boring. Like, you you know, right. I feel like you know. It's nice when uh, when we see who who – hasn't perked up in a while, starts to perk up. But usually it's the, you know, your uh, your usual bandits here. Um, but, yeah, that's all I got to say. With me. Yeah. And another team, so we move on to the next game they played. It was on the 20... 25th. Uh, Navigators, it's, right? It's the North Shore Navigators Thursday night game uh, up there in the North Shore. Uh, another team they play a lot, and I got to tell you, for a team they play a lot, that's a hell of a travel distance right there. That's a good three-hour yeah. drive each way, right, to go see Pep and play. But um, nevertheless, a loss. I, I, so from what I understand, from what I've been seeing this year, when they play the Navigators, the Navigators seem to own them, to be honest with you. Really? Huh. Um, so this is the third. Well, So I've been to two of the games. Two of the games I've been to, the Gulls lost, and the Navigators pretty much dominated the game. And this game it doesn't look like it was a total domination, but at the end of the day, it does look like it is uh, another situation where um, the girls just came on the losing end of everything. So, yeah, the pitching line, it, it's weird because it's like you have um, Cheatham come in, Cheatham, Chatham, we'll call him Chatham, Chatham, yeah. Cheatham, Cole Cheatham. Um, like he comes in, he starts the game three inning, three and one thirds inning, three hits, three runs. Th- both of them are in three walks, four strikeouts. And it's not great. It, I don't know why he didn't pitch longer. Um, he, I feel like he still probably could have pitched a little more. And then you had DeLuca, DeLucia come in with deep only four and two thirds. There's only two pitches here. I just find it interesting that I don't know, maybe it was they're trying to rest some guys here. Um, yeah. But I, I usually that there's more than just two picture pitchers in a game like this, you know. Well, and if you look at the schedule too, this is a long drive, three hours up to Lynn and then back, and then the next day they were heading out. Looks like to the Vineyard for an away game as well. So maybe that consideration of the two long travel days in a row uh, maybe has some impact. Also, it is towards the end of the season. A lot of these guys are getting ready um, to start their college year, so perhaps. You know they're on pitch counts. Perhaps they, they're they're limited the amount of these pitches are doing. Also anticipating that perhaps that maybe they're resting these guys up for the playoffs as well. So maybe that's something to think about. Um, you know, if we preserve some of these arms, if we can get as many, you know, innings out of the guys, you know, efficient efficiently, we can kind of preserve some arms for the playoffs. So, you know, 
you could be really, really, really irresponsible and just put a pitcher out every inning and then they're working every day so their rhythm gets screwed up. Or we could do what they're doing here is what they use two guys. Like, for example, like, uh, all right, so North Shore scores in the second and then they score in the fourth. So when they pull Chatham, they pulled them after the, the – so you got all the earned runs in his credit, right? Yeah. No, you got, uh, Delucia, no, Delucia's got one run. One run. Delucia's got one, okay. Yeah. So, which still isn't bad considering the fact. But at the end of the day, I think what they were probably looking for is like, you know what, we could preserve this game as best as possible. Uh, was this a full game? Yes, it was a full game too. It's just, you know, that's a product of the um, of the Gulls bats. Very cold this game. I mean, well, we, yeah, they were. Look at all the strikeouts on, on the team. Like, three, right. Steven struck out three times. Uh, Hare struck out four times. Mm-hmm. Look at that. <laughs> Who, uh, who, who was their pitcher? Pauly? T. Pauly? Four innings pitched, eight strikeouts in four innings. <laughs> yeah. So he got, so, so Pauly got eight strikeouts. There were 16 total strikeouts for the entire game on the Gulls. So he got 50% of the strikeouts right there. That's pretty, I mean, eight strikeouts is impressive in Major League Baseball, never alone in collegiate ball. So, yeah. um, I mean, he pretty much shut him down. These guys didn't have a chance. You know, like uh, Seymour up five times, you know, with three of the, three of the five yeah. times he was up, right? Greeny is the only guy who didn't strike out. <laughs> yeah, Brini was able to get three hits off him. So, you know, key for a uh, leadoff guy to be able to get on base and get the hits like that. But at the same time, man, you got to – this pitcher was doing some magic, I got to tell you. Uh, Pauly, I believe Pauly pitched one of the games I was at too, and I was pretty impressed by him. He has velocity. He can locate the ball pretty well. And uh-huh. the girls just have a time and a half um, trying to, uh, you know, hit this guy. And uh, if they have to see him in the playoffs, it might be a problem. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. But – um, we'll play that card when it happens. So I'm not sure how, what the playoff format is. We'll learn that more as the week yeah, goes on. Because I'm it's, thinking uh, at eight, 18 and 23, the navigators wouldn't make it, but I don't know their format. So maybe mm-hmm. I'm I'm guessing. I'm I'm and I'm totally guessing. I don't know anything. I didn't really do much research on this, which I probably should have. But I'm going to say there's probably six teams that make it. I'm going to say each of the division winners make it, and then you have th- three wild card teams, I guess. Yeah. Um, and how they play and what the playoff format is, if there's a bracket or if it just, I know, I remember when we talked to the mics in the beginning of the season, they talked about it was like single elimination, but they changed it to like a best of three series now. So okay. yeah. that may think, make things a little bit different for, uh, uh that's, that's, I mean, that's how it's better know. that way. Cause I mean, what if you have, what if it's one of those fluke games that you just lose, but you're not the better team. You are the better team. That would, that would be horrible. That would suck. You know? And I think that's what happened to the Gulls years past. And then since they added this, like last season, I guess they lost their first game. Or we were, if you go back to the old episodes where we talked to the Mikes about this, they had lost the first game in the playoffs, but they won the next two. They just had a bad game. And thankfully, they have this format now where you can kind of redeem yourself, if you will, and be able to get yeah. back a little bit. Um, yeah, because it sucks. If you, I, I think one game in baseball, baseball is not a sport of a game. I'm, I'm sorry. It doesn't work that way. I'm glad no, that Major League Baseball changed that wild, wild card thing to a best of three, you know? Yeah, I agree. I just think you need it's it's because uh, it's not like football where you throw it all out there and you call it is baseball is much like basketball where you could have an up and down game and home and away does count. It's not it's you need to have multiple games and I'm glad they changed it because it it, it just it makes more sense. You get a better product at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Yeah. But this looks like it was the it's the last matchup against the Navigators for the year. Um. You know, we talked uh, about going to, you know, that stadium, and it's a tough stadium to play in. They, the, the Navigators do pull a decent crowd. So, you know, especially in the weekend games, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm betting there's not many people here during the week, but um, let's see. It says the attendance. Oh, maybe that's the maximum attendance. It said the attendance was like <laughs> 1,200 people, but that's probably uh, the maximum capacity for Fraser Field, right? Probably 1,200 people. Think so. yeah. Sounds about right. So, yeah, so, yeah, look at that game, too. It got over at 10.30, plus you had a three-hour drive back to Newport, so you didn't get back until 1.30. And then the next day, what time are you leaving to go to friggin' uh, yeah. the Vineyard, and right? You, you got to catch that bus, that that uh, that uh, ferry over at the right time, right? So I'm sure these guys were up and at them probably uh, a few hours, you know, after uh, yeah, they, got, this, they got home, right? This is how you lose to basically a 500 team, right? Right? What you just said, like all that just sounds exhausting. Even you just right. saying that sounds exhausting. Exactly. And here they are losing to, you know, the Shocks again here. So we'll bring up yeah. to this next game. It was on the uh, 26th was for last Friday night. And uh, it was a bond burn. It came right to the end. In yeah, fact, things started uh, off. Uh, things started off here kind of promising. Like Blake was your starter. He four innings, two hits, one earned run, six strikeouts. 
or walks doesn't look good, but uh, held them all to only one earned run. Um, then the chip comes in, goes a little stale, one and two thirds innings, uh, three runs, all of them earned, four strikeouts, but uh, and then things really derail when Holt comes in for an inning and he walks four. Yeah, which is not good. But he made it through the inning, and then Stark comes in, one earned run. It's just yeah. Just, it's just not a very good out. There was probably some fatigue that sit in here for sure. Yeah, and then Odell that, closes at one and two thirds innings with one earned run and no strikeouts. Yeah, so yeah. So that's six and third inning. I mean, that's sixth and uh, I'm sorry, sixth and seventh inning, where the uh, Vineyard uh, Shacks scored five runs. That yeah. basically, you know, that would have put. So I'm looking at the box score right there. That would have put them up by one, and then Newport was able to tie it up. And the ninth, on the top of the ninth, and then it looks like uh, Vinny had a walk off the bottom of the ninth to win the game, eight to seven. It could have so, been worse too. I feel like you walk four batters and only around two earned runs. That's lucky, right? Yeah. And look and look at the box score right there. That says it all. They had fourteen hits, seven yeah. runs. They left seven guys on base, right? Yeah. At least, that's bad. well, seven hitters on base, I should say, right? And yeah. not including the walks with an error too, which doesn't help. Um. And like this game started at seven, it got done at ten thirty, and now you had to get back on the ferry, go back over. I mean, I I, I don't I, I didn't even ferries. I guess they have to charter a special ferry. I I didn't think ferries yeah. ran that late. I, I you know they got me. <laughs> I know. Yeah, right? maybe they caught the last one. That's a good it, question to ask because I don't know how that works. Because I'm pretty sure when I was going over to the vineyard a couple of times, they stopped running at a certain hour. Unless they had a chat or a private ferry for this particular reason, or I, they're not staying at a hotel. You're not finding a hotel in the vineyard in July. No, you're not. Right? Yeah. Unless they're staying at the Obamas, maybe. Maybe he has some extra room. He's like, why don't you guys come over and stay in my uh, my guest house in the back? Well, you guys can go I, sit I, there. I can't do an Obama. I can't do an Obama. Play, play some baseball over there, you know, on the basketball court. You're lie. really trying not to do a John Henry, aren't you? You're trying. Like, it doesn't sound like him, but I feel like you're going in that direction, but it's not yeah. there. It might, yeah. yeah, my John Henry and Bob Kraft are basically the same guy. They're the same thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. to, and every president impression I do is always the same. We'll work on that, buddy. Yeah. We'll work on I, that. I, I was never known for impressions. I got to tell you, <laughs> my, my forte has never been impressions. So I got we'll one ace in the that. hole, and you know that. <laughs> I'm not doing it right now. I got one. I got one. I get the Cosby. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Bill Cosby would show up to a girls game this season and talk Maybe. about baseball. <laughs> well, anyway. as we talk about this game offensively, like I said, they got, you know, 14 hits or seven runs. Some of the notable guys here, of course, uh, Brini, obviously, Mr. Uh, Mr. Leadoff, uh, five at bats, two runs, three hits. Off an RBI, always nice. Um, D. Williams, also a nice stat box right there. One run, two hits, three RBIs. Um, strikeouts are very low. Nine strikeouts total for the team. Their batting averages, look at everyone. Oh, look at that average right there. At the end of that game, the lowest average I'm looking at right now is like 237. That's the the catcher. You know, he went 0 for 3 with a walk and there's two strikeouts. So, I mean, listen. These guys are all getting four to five at bats, and they're they're swinging. And they're, they're, the offense is not their problem, which yeah, I think we've true. established throughout the season. Being able to hit a ball and score runs has not been the girls' issue this season. Most of these games, if you uh, you know, and this would be something we could look at in the off season, we could break it down. These one run games, we could really break down to just being you know a, a missed inning or two pitching, right? Um, you know, and if you take these one run games that they were leading in. And it'll be something we could break down and see what it would be like if they just had some solid closing at the end. We could probably see that basic at the end of the day. Uh, they might have won these games. They would have had a better, better record. But 26 and 16 is not bad. I, I mean, at this no. point, at this game, they're 10 over 500. And uh, you, you can't shake a stick to that. I'll tell you that much. It's true. But what's interesting, you mentioned one run games and there have been issues there. What's interesting is going into our next games, or I should say games because it's a doubleheader. Um the next game, they they should. That's a game they should have lost and won. When you look at the pitching line, it's these are games you don't typically win. Like uh, so, Randall gets the start, doesn't even so record is, an out. This is the uh, July twenty seventh game against the uh, Mystic Schooners. Are you talking about right? 
Yes, yes, they won seven to six. Yeah. Um, Randall doesn't even record an out. Four oh, I think we're, I think we're four. at the wrong game here. Hold on. Am I am I in the wrong game? Let's see. Oh, maybe I'm in the seven twenty seven, right? Seven up. Oh, yep, you're right. It's double header. I'm a, yeah. I'm, a I'm a goofball. I'm a yeah, goofball. Um, okay, yes. We look at the box. So yes. Yes, yeah, seven to six. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Continue. He, they we win this game, but it starts off just not promising at all. So Randall gets a start, doesn't record an out. Four runs, all of them earned, four walks. And then Kavala comes in, still not good. Four, well, better. I should say four innings, two earned runs. He stopped the bleeding and eight strikeouts for him. Man, that's actually really good. That's stepping up right, right there, buddy. And then also it's two innings pitched, no runs. And then Walker comes in, one inning, no runs. So it's towards the back end this time. I feel like we've been seeing starters actually go, typically do really well here. And then things in the middle relief kind of get um, get hit around. But this was actually the opposite. It seems like towards the end here, you know, it kind of all came together at the end, which is nice because this does not start good at all. You know? No, it's it's an impressive win by Cavallo too, because the eight strikeouts is definitely nice. It brought his ERA down a little bit. Um, he did let two earned runs up and did walk two, but yeah. um, it looked like he was put in basically to start this game because if you noticed, Randall zero in his pitches, four runs, four earned runs, four four walks. So uh, that box score looks like he went up for one. He got no outs. Well, I know. Well, what's even more hilarious is to, how do you win a game like this by the other side doing worse than you? So you look at the other team pitching, Francis, right. one and two thirds innings, six earned runs, one strikeout. You know what all I mean? Right. So it's like, all right, I guess this is just going to be, you know, I'm surprised this actually didn't score higher. And it's just seven, six and in seven innings. I mean, right. Look at that box score. Like Newport comes out, scores four runs in the bottom of the first, right? And then Mystic, you know, five runs. In the, uh, I mean, uh, Newport in the top of the first, the Mystic at the bottom of the first. Uh, five runs, and then Newport comes back out in the top of the second, scores two runs, and calls it. They go, "Here we go, six five right there." Yeah. And then there's really not much going on for the rest of the game. The pitchers seem to settle down, and you know, Mystic tied it up at uh in the fourth, and then you know here comes uh Newport answering it on the the uh, top yeah. of the fifth, saying, "Hey, you know," and that was about it. Now, granted, it was a seven in double header game, but uh, you're right. It, it's one of those games where it's just like. Man, the pitching was not where it's needed to be. It, it was all yeah. an offensively game. And if you look at the box goes for the offense, Ooh. I mean, you know, Breen is still, you know, five at bats, two runs, four hits. I mean, in a strikeout, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I mean, I like that. Those numbers are solid. Williams, you, you could always depend on him. Two RBIs and a hit. You know what I mean? Yeah. He may not hit every time he's up, but when it seems like when this guy's on base. He hits and he hits pretty good and he gets a lot of runs scored. So that's what I mean, that's key right there for that kind of guy right there. Same with Stevens, too. I mean, four at bats, two runs, three hits, two RBIs, right? And yeah. that and Mininick is a guy we haven't talked much about catching, but even he had a solid game right here. Three at bats, one run and two hits with an RBI and a walk. So when you need these guys to uh show up, they're showing up. And and, and look at the uh Mystic's box score for offensive uh, plays in the batting stats compared to us. I mean, they had four more guys that mm-hmm. had to play, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. And their batting average is, you know, don't even shake it. I mean, we got Williams is batting 404 at the end of this game, 404. Now, I'm not saying he's Ted Williams, but Ted Williams had an over 400 batting average at the end of the season. I mean, he did play. 60, I mean, I mean, at that time, 100 plus games, right? But he's still. got 99 at bats. Yeah, he's betting 384 right now, 99 at bats, which is still it's a good sample. It's, sample size. it's a good sample size right there. Now, let's yeah. get a little uh, information on uh, Duncan Williams, uh, Dixon Williams. I'm sorry, I keep I mix them up. He's uh, born December 19th, 2003. He's a baby uh, at 21 years old um, from uh, East Carolina University, which has a really good baseball program. Plays third and second. And he's from uh, Grimsland. North Carolina, and he's a junior this year. So uh, look for this guy in the draft next year. Mm. I'm going to tell you right now, if you see Dixon Williams pop up in the MLB draft next June, I will not be surprised with these numbers. And I'm going to actually make a point to follow this guy throughout the uh, college season in the beginning of next year, because I'm curious if this guy could put up these numbers, collegiate balls. I mean, you know, uh, Stevens, uh, Nolan Stevens, he's, he's got 141 at bats for a little, he's sitting 319 with 141 at bats. So that's, that's pretty, that's really good. Another guy um, we got to look at Mississippi state yeah. university, sec, good baseball, uh, conference. So, uh, yeah. and he's only a sophomore too. So he's got a, 
he's a year back. So um, let's see. We'll see what these guys do. Now that we have a taste of what these guys are doing the show for the season, we can actually can kind of in the off season stuff, kind of go in a little more in depth than the guys who are in the team and see how they did. Right. And we can kind of yeah. get a better picture of last year. We kind of fly in the uh, ship line. We didn't really know much what we were doing, but uh, we figured it out. I hope you guys are enjoying this program, by the way. You know, Adam and I are uh, baseball connoisseurs, if you will. You know, yes, we're still finding our our legs in this, and we're, we're getting fine. We will be we'll be collegiate <laughs> podcast uh, uh, emperors at no time, if you will. I guess right is that a word? Um, sure, it, is, it is now. We we just made it. All right, so the second game of doubleheader, another win by the girls. Adam, what would you like to evaluate our? Uh, I yeah. Uh, I don't think we've seen this. It's like, this is the first time we have. I know it's only seven innings, but it's a complete game. Scatwell, yeah. seven innings pitched, four earned runs, eight strikeouts. I mean, nine hits. Again, we love nine hits. Usually you allow more than four. I mean, four runs. Right. But still, hey, he, he saved all the other guys from having to save from having to use up all your other guys in the game. He went yeah. out, went the distance. You couldn't ask for anything better. Kept you in the game and you won. Absolutely. And that's the key right there, especially when you're playing a doubleheader. You want to use the minimum amount of guys as possible, especially coming towards the end of the season where that's your great. playoffs are right around the corner. If you, yeah, if you get one guy, you can get it done. So Shatwell had no problem. You know, he did let, like you said, he did over four runs. Yeah. Let's look at the box score here. Four runs, oh, a nine hits. Um, but Newport came out. And I, it's another thing with the Gulls, too, I've been noticing. Their first inning is usually, if they're a way team coming out, they usually have a pretty strong first in it. Yeah. You know, just well, just look at that lineup too. So they got five runs in the first inning. You know, between Breeny, Duncan, Williams, Stevens, Hare, right? Coming off the bat right there. All of them had four plus at bats, four, three, three, four bats. Um, everyone has a hit except for uh Williams and Stevens, but uh Stevens had two walks. So I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm just noticing something in the game information. It says, okay, okay attendance 85. Weather cloudy slash 76 underscore what? question mark. Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Under yeah. weather cloudy right. slash 76. So were they question. not sure it was cloudy or they're not sure it was 76? 76, maybe? I don't know. But all right. Sorry. So their attendance is 85, right? Yeah. Which is more realistic because I think there's a couple. It's probably a, on a weekend game, a couple hundred people probably show, right? Yeah. Um. So that that Lynn statistic on the attendance was I could, you could have twelve hundred people there on a Thursday, right? Unless it was no like way. a field trip or something, there, right? I don't know. No way. I don't know, but we'll roll with it. I, I mean, at know. best, it was a couple hundred. I, and I get it; these are collegiate games, so a lot of people don't. If you like base, it, it, these games are for baseball nerds like you and I. Well, people yeah. are, you know, kids that really like baseball, but you don't, you know, you know, no one has the budget to take them to Fenway. I, who do, I who did, does these? I, did, I just like cloudy seventy six. Oh. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe it was raining. Maybe it was not raining. I, maybe it was seventy six. Maybe it was sixty seven. I don't know. Uh, no, that looks like that looks like a um. Uh, we call it an error in the computer programming when you type in something. Yes, it does. And I know. Like yeah, it does. San Texas, San Texas error. What it was called? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah, semantics. But uh, semantics. yeah. So yeah, I mean, their bats came out first inning. They said, "Hey, listen, we're gonna score all the runs now, and we're gonna take the rest of the game off because it's you know seven innings. We have some stuff to do. You know what I mean? So that's basically looks like what they did. They were like, "All right." And then they scored another run in the third, I guess. But you know, they shut after they left the four four runs in the first inning. Damn, they was like, screw this, we're shutting you guys down. So that was pretty impressive because usually you don't see that. And usually you have the guy removed, the pitch is gone at that point, but they, they kept the pitcher in. So good for yeah. them. Yeah. Good for them for serving runs there. So all right. So as we get close to the end of the program, we have one more game to speak about, and it was Sunday's game against uh, Ocean State. Ooh, look at this! I hit the button, and oh my god, I don't know what I just got into. Ooh, the GL. I hit the GL by mistake. I didn't want to hit that. I want to hit the final. Here we go. Is it is it family friendly? <laughs> what you backed yeah. into? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> glad I'm not glad I'm not sharing my iPad screen. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally put Newport girls by mistake. And boy, did I get a whole 
You know? Oh, my. That's another thing. Jeez, I'm getting these prank calls today. You hear that? Did you hear the ringing noise? No. Oh, I've been... Lots of prank calls. Uh, not prank calls. These like, telemarketers is blowing me up here. No, but okay. So let's talk about this game. It was a two nothing loss against Ocean State. Uh and Dell just in the pitching, Mister Mallet. Oh, we still have one more game, don't we? Oh God, I'm horrible. Hold on, I I, I was too busy googling Newport girls. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did. I'll send. As, I did. As everyone else is doing right now. <laughs> no, I'll show you what comes up. It's a school, and when you click it, there's a picture of a redhead. Is standing in the middle and a bunch of other people standing to the side of her friends. It's a it's a girls' high school ac- academy, um, oh, but we were, but we're not we're not doing that. We're not advertising. No, for, we're the girls. No, yes. girls, not the girls. Girls, but gee, <laughs> to you. Okay. Wow, wow. These it's sad when now it's sad when a game like this happens when you actually only allow like you know two runs and you lose the game. So Holt four innings pitched, no one runs, none of them, three strikeouts. Yeah. Actually, and for a guy, his ERA is like 8.22. So to have a good, decent outing like this, you know, you wish you could get the win here. Um, right. Star comes in three and one third, only one on run, four strikeouts, two walks. And then Odell, one and two thirds, only in one hit, one walk, one strikeout. This is this is the kind of game you'd think you'd win, kind of like when we had the game you thought you'd lose. Um, right. But that's the beauty of baseball. Sometimes this, these things just happen, you know, and I could see – the bats pretty much didn't wake up either. <laughs> no, everyone was quiet. So you get these games where the team bats hits double digit runs, but lets up double digit runs, and they win these games, right? But then you get these games where your pitching is pretty damn solid, and wow, your your earn your your runs are down. I mean, they let up four hits, two runs on four hits, right? I'm looking at their pitching line. Like their pitcher's ERA is one point oh one, four innings, seven strikeouts. They have a guy named Beavis. <laughs> two innings pitch by Beavis. <laughs> let me, let me, I gotta click on Beavis's information here. Logan Beavis. Uh, he's from Longwood, Florida. Um, he looks scary. He looks very he's, scary. Uh, friends of the buttheads live next door, I guess, right? Beavis and Butthead. A little joke. That's back on TV right now. That's on Comedy Central now. With new episodes of Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. In case you're wondering. It is. Uh, yeah, it's just a sin, sin because the bats, the one game where the bats didn't wake up, or the one game where in which the, the bats were just average. Are you taking a picture of me? No, I'm taking a picture of something I'm sending you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I can see you on my screen. I'm like, you taking a picture of me? No, I'm not. But my camera isn't aimed at the screen. You're on my other monitor. So. Ooh, fancy! Look at you with the multi monitor setup. Yeah. No, but yeah, right. a game where in which two runs. Um, let up would have won you the game because your offense would have been hitting, but there was also two errors committed by both teams, and I don't know what massive effect that did. But Greeny, Duncan, Stevens, uh, Minnick, the, the the tortoise, the tortoise, those five guys who usually one, two, three, four, five guys who usually produce got one hit out of all of them, but they didn't strike out. I mean, okay, that's no, they did strike. Hold on, here's another thing. Hold on. How do you go one for four? Oh, we got some we got some uh, statistical anomalies, which we've one for okay. four. So you're up Whoa. four times. You got one hit. So you shouldn't have you got no like at least a walk or a strikeout? Like one hit, an RBI. Okay. What's wrong with this line? One RBI a hit. He got an RBI with his hit. So what What's happened the other on? three times you're up? He was one for four. Well, who are we looking at? Who are you looking at? Right, Wait, I'm an idiot. Four. I'm, I'm, I'm a dumb dumb. Okay, no, Brady, I'm looking at the right? other team. Yeah, Brady, one for four. Okay, one for four. Right. Yes. So you got a hit. That's the one. What happened the other three times? If he struck out, it would have been labeled in the strikeouts. Not there. If he walked, it would have been labeled in the walks. Pop not up, there. Ground out. Pop up and ground out. That's still an out. Oh yeah, I guess right. What am I thinking? Oh, I just had... <laughs> I'm like, uh, sorry. Where are, where sorry. are you right now? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy pop shit. Up All at, right. Pop up, ground oh. out. And on that note, everybody. <laughs> that was a that was a From, wow, moment of, oh what happened wow. there? Am I all right? Cognitive I think decline. I, I think I yeah, talk about it. I think I just had a mini stroke right there <laughs> looking at those numbers. My head just hurt. I don't know what yeah, it makes completely sense. They would they would just he hit the ball and they got out. How's that sound? <laughs> Why did I I just I can't believe that. Okay, never mind. Can we just uh, we'll scratch that? 
I mean, damn. I was like, some people, what people watching the stream, like, is this guy like completely a moron, or is it just this this episode? <laughs> mm -hmm. Nevertheless, it was a loss. The offense didn't do anything, and uh, oh, I got your text. You haven't got the photo crowd. yet, though. You haven't said, the photo has gone through. Oh, yet, it's though. loading. Okay, I can't wait. Yeah. Can't wait to see what happens when one Google's new boy girls by mistake. So, um, anywho, on that matter, the game that was playing tonight is there, uh, there you go, there you go, postponed till tomorrow, and then they have Tuesday and Wednesday. So it looks like they're making up the games from the, the season on Tuesday. So they have three games left at the end of this uh, podcast we're doing right now. So um, statistically, if they lost all three and the other team that's three games behind a one, so they're three and a half back. So they're in first place. They're automatically in first place, right? Yes, they are. Yeah, they are. They can't. Yeah, they can't lose. They can't fall out. No. That makes sense because you can't. Yeah, they already clinched. It even says close. If you're three champions. and a half up and you lose yeah. three, you still be a half game up, right? Yeah. You okay? Have I lost you? <laughs> I can't hear no, you. No, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm right here, buddy. Hold on. Uh oh. I lost Just you in my headphones. Do, 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 do. I can see your lips moving. Ah, uh, they are, and I'm speaking. Let's see. Hold on. I'm speaking. I speaky. Hello. Can you say something? Say something. Uh, I'm talking. Can you hear me? Yeah. You can hear me. All right. Well, I guess we'll leave it at that. We just lost all uh lost all transmission and volume from Adam. But um uh, Adam, can you hear five. me? Uh we will uh we'll call it a, an episode and uh, we'll see you guys next week. And at that point the playoffs would have started and hopefully we made it to a game or not. We'll tell you how it goes. But till then. Everyone have a good week, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Peace.